Welcome to lesson number seven, basic improvisation. Uh, the first one is the fifth. So if we are on E, the fifth of E is B. So when you're doing improvisation, instead of just staying on E, like that, or bum, 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 if that's your pattern, E, B, B. So, root fifth or that's the basic improvisation. You're including the fifth from your pattern instead of just doing it on E. So, root fifth if we are going to use c the fifth of c is g so it can be up here so c g c c so you can do that as your as your improvisation you're including the the fifth instead of c c c c you are doing c g c c or this one is also fifth right if we move to a a e or a and then e as an open string If it's G, G, D. If it's D, D, A, D, A. Alright, so it's a very simple yet very uh, important or essential uh, when you're doing improvisation to always use the fifth. Right, um, the next improvisation technique is the box pattern. Box pattern is like a major minor, uh, pentatonic. So if we are on the key of G, so root G, octave, flattened seven, fifth, and fourth. And you can create pattern um, based on this box um, technique. Box pattern number one. So root, octave, flattened seventh, and then fifth. Right, that's your box pattern number one. And you can create your own pattern actually. So box pattern number two uh, is root, and then octave, double, and then flattened seven, double, and back to the octave. So root, ding, ding, do, do, do. Happy with that? So root, and then octave, seven, flattened seven, back to the octave. Box pattern number three, we got root, fifth, flattened seven, and then back to fifth, seventh again, and then octave or eight. All right, so root, fifth, flattened seven, fifth, flattened seven, and then octave. All right, so three, five, but uh, on the third string, third on the second string back up to the fifth uh, third string and then second string third fret and then fifth fret and it sounded like this and you can just transpose it from g here as your root you go down to c again to G 
Happy with that? You can even move to another fret. The same with earlier, you got the so G and then octave. You can go to C and the octave of C is here. Box pattern four. So root fourth fifth se flatten seven fifth fourth. So you can actually create your own patterns with this box technique. Right, next, boogie pattern. So the formula for boogie pattern is 1, 3rd, 5th, 6th, flattened 7, and then octave. Got it? So if it's on the key of G, G. B, D, E, F, and then octave back to G. Boogie pattern number one. So root, key of G, and then you got the B or the second fret, third string, fifth fret, it's D, then second string, second fret is E, and then octave so fifth fret so it goes like this just practice that one for our boogie pattern number one boogie pattern number two we'll just do it double so twice on the three on the root and then twice on the third twice on the fifth and then twice on the uh, sixth twice on the se flattened seventh back to the sixth fifth and third so it goes like this Right. happy with that one boogie pattern number three so twice again on the root twice on the third twice on the fifth and then just one on the sixth and back on the fifth so it sounds like this then you can move to C and back again to G and D right it will develop your strength and flexibility with your hand and you are now creating sort of a rhythm uh, music it doesn't sound like an exercise anymore right boogie pattern number four the last one so root and then sixth fifth third and back to the root okay so It's more like a bluesy uh, if you are doing it slow. But if it's a fast beat, it still sounds like boogie.
Okay? So, it's root 6, 5th, 3rd. It's sort of a box technique, but you are extending it here. You've got the 6th and the 3rd. Alright, so that's it. That's for our boogie pattern.